Father. I'm sorry for walking away this week. It seems when things happen, my faith runs deep. And it drains me because I just want faith that runs deep. But life has different plans. Yes, it creeps. Creeps up right behind me. Then I let go, letting all the bad things define me. I'm riding the bad, yes, that roller coaster I'm riding. Then you get a prayer from me, but it's more like whining. I'm trying to trust you with my days and nights. After all, you have perfect timing. I at least want to be gliding if I'm not flying, but I'm more like falling. I haven't figured out how to stand yet, so I guess I'm crawling towards you. But the closer I get, the devil ties his noose. Then all I see is black and blue. You hold four fingers up, testing my vision, but I only see two. I feel stuck, like I don't know what to do. And if I'm telling the truth, I feel when I take five steps forward, I backtrack a few. One day I feel perfectly fine, but depression comes in and my heart feels bruised. I feel frustrated when I want to feel used, used for your glory. Bring in the crowd and have your goodness pouring. I want to wake up the ones that are snoring. The ones that shut you out while looking at you assume boring. But how do I do all that when I do the same? Every time I speak your name, right after that comes a blade to cut you off. Like why? You're helping lift me off to where I go blast off. And soon after that, I kick you off. I pray for forgiveness. When I feel better, it all feels paid off. Then I take you, then drop you off. But really what I want to do is run off with you. Every day where the sun shines and every night under the moon. But this life has me dazed and confused. You ask what my mind is trapped on and I say family issues. That's no lie, that's the truth. Things are so raggedy, all I feel is apathy, a lack of interest, enthusiasm, and concern. Like I thought you'd yearn, after all it's your turn, like man this crap gives me heartburn. It hits me and it hurts, because life fries me like a sunburn. You turn around to things rather than us, like a U-turn. It's not a dig in you, I just want the return. Like when will you learn? You say that we come first, so stick to that. Leave these temporary things buried in the dirt. You're letting these things determine your worth. You wear your pride on your shirt and it leaves us guarded. And hurt and every time I turn the corner I want to press reverse because I can feel it starting to lurk like who knew family would be a piece of work I thought it come easy but I was wrong it's more like greedy sneaking completely emotionally needy when I forgot to mention bloody I've been bleeding every day since 11 every season I've been cold and confused and need to be heated I'm starting to be fed just last week I was fed and not by food I was fed by anger it took my uplifting mood the devil's been trying to take my fire so I've been feeling damper this feels like cancer I just wish I had some answers like I know why every bad thing happens but lately I've just been needing to feel pampered I've been slowly getting to where I wanted to be but it was smashed by a hammer. I feel like I keep falling so I get depressed when I want to be attractive. Call that glamour. And I don't mean attractive physically, I mean attractive within. People call me warrior and strong, but they don't see the daily battle that eventually makes me bend. And every time I feel it coming, I try to write a poem quick and press end. Praying it has signal to reach heaven Because I want this prayer to be heard before I turn into a felon I try hard to stay calm but family makes me feel aggression Because family's behavior, big word, transgressions Family, have you gotten the message? I hope you did because I ain't writing another sentence I love you and always will From the day I was born to the day that I die My love to you starts from the ground and past the sky I'm trying hard with things and I can't be denied I'm opening up because what's the point of the word hide? I'm tired of the disguise and the relationships being tied in the knot and I feel like we give up on each other causing us to rot our relationship is spotted like polka dots I want it to be solid not a dash in between I'm tired of holding all the dirty baggage I just want to feel clean I felt this feeling since a kid and now to a teen I just want to be like Jack and grow a bean get away from this hard to breathe air get to somewhere fresh and feel free let go of people's hurts and just focus on me but you see I can't I care about other people's hurts and brokenness, so I guess I'm just here to rant. Then go back to life after I'm done writing this and get bit by a fire ant. Hoping it starts a fire inside so I can finally chant. So Father, please again lower your hand. I need you to grab a hold and when I slip again, please set a soft landing. Light a fire inside and have it start expanding. I want when people look at me, they think outstanding. But they don't because I'm barely standing. I feel like I'm falling when I want to be advancing. And it doesn't help that I feel abandoned. I just want your hand and then never let go. To hold on forever and then never lose hope. I need you and that's a fact. Sometimes I wander off expecting you to hold my back. But sometimes you don't because it's my obedience that lacks. I expect to see light 
but I only see black. And I pray this a lot. Wake me up, whatever it takes. Give me a smack. Hit me hard or just a slap. I'm trying hard, but every time I hop into a car, I ram it off the road. I damage it bad, and now it's being towed. And that's a metaphor for my mind wandering after temporary fixes. And it gets hit hard, causing it to get a couple stitches. But help me run to you after all you fix the things that need fixing. Make me bold every time I hear the serpent hissing. Father, continue giving me words to these poems. It's the only time I feel like I have a voice. Because when I'm not writing, I'm surrounded by internal noise. I suffer from depression, but this provides joy. I have some aggression, but this makes me feel like a little boy. Happy, joyful, and ready for whatever comes his way. But I do want to thank you for the things that you granted. You set a core inside of me that can't be implanted. I was completely done, but you gave me an implant of a heart that can be broken but never destroyed. So now I do have some good memories and can finally feel like a little boy. Even though I can't get rid of the loud, destructive noise, I'm finally feeling balanced. Call that poise. Make your voice the loudest noise, and the loud voices make that the background noise. Make my voice powerful. By your power, these things will be destroyed. I want to show these things how it tastes. I want to make them annoyed. I'm about to fire them, yes, they're no longer employed. I want to capture this moment, anyone got a Polaroid. But for real though, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I once felt ugly, but now I feel like art. The devil yanks me day by day and night by night, tearing me apart. But when I call your name, you send angels to protect me and you saved my life. So that's why I call you father, because a father is there for a son all day and all night. With embrace and love that terrifies fright. You shine bright, you assess the brightest light. You make the darkness turn to light, now I can finally see what's in sight. I was scared by the darkness, but you whispered in my ear saying it's alright. Anyone going through things, God's holding you in his palms tonight. Here, listen to this from Psalms, alright? The Lord is the refuge of the oppressed, the stronghold in times of trouble. He's got you, my friend, from the good days to the days you feel you're on the verge of popping like a bubble. And as weird as this may sound, if you feel lonely, my God will cuddle. He's got you, man. He will gather his troops and huddle. Perform a riot to the things you face and come back without a scratch. He will tie up your dark sides and troubles and light a match. Because things that hurt you are not of God. You become Moses splitting this with just a rod. But you can't do this yourself. You need a squad. You need the people that love and that care to show it in times of despair. You need to allow God to put grace, mercy, freedom, love, and peace in the air. Because if you stay stubborn and hard-headed, it's kind of hard for him to move. I mean, honestly, man, what do you have to lose? And you may give me the excuse. You don't know what it's like walking in my shoes. Well, you're right, but I know what it's like to lose. Lose yourself in the dark and even in the joyful cruise. You got hurt and you left. You hardened your heart and puffed out your chest. You won't accept the love of others because deep inside you feel like a mess. You want to feel uplifted, but you can't because it's compressed by stress. People show lots of love, but to you it feels divided, so it feels a little less. I know what you're feeling. You lay in bed with things crossing your mind nonstop while staring at the ceiling. I know what that's like because I stay up till 3 a.m. with the same feeling. Like wondering when will I get healing, but things happen for a reason. I know it feels like torture, but it only strengthens you for the next season. Right now you may be weeping and bleeding, but God uses those hurts to give you a fire to start leading. Take it from me. I was an insecure, hurt, broken, and shy weakling. But now I feel healed and I'm fired up. If you need warmth to get close, I'll make you heated. So you may be broken now, but you're not defeated. Like I said, you may be broken, but every step you take, God follows, picking up the pieces. Now if that doesn't ease the pain, I don't know what will. God's picking you up, you're no longer ill. He climbs every mountain, he climbs every hill just for you. So I'm gonna leave you with that. Remember, if you're feeling attacked, God's got your back. Call on him, apply some chapstick to that relationship, code it, don't make it chapped. You need him and that's a 100% fact. If you don't believe me, test it out. You end up one of two ways, crying louder and a constant shout. Then you blame him for leaving you and now all you feel is doubt. So trust me, man, you're gonna wanna clench on to his hand now. His love is being handed out, but, but don't treat him like a ticket or a handout. So that's all I gotta say, at least for now. Love you all. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for making it this far. Remember, you're only human. You are not perfect. We will never be. But by the blood of Jesus Christ, we all can be washed clean.